Hey guys, Marie Antoinette here. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I am so sorry that I haven't had any videos out in a week. It has been really, really crazy. Um, I have been creating like crazy, but I just haven't had time to do any videos. So I'm not going to do any editing in this video or at least very minimal. I'm not going to include music and intros and all that stuff. Um, one thing is if you enjoy my videos, please share my videos with your other fellow friends who love crafting and subscribe to my channel. I love it when I hear from you guys and comments. Um, so just keep on keep on doing that. And then also I have a Facebook group that you guys are welcome to join. I'll have the link in the description as well as all the materials that I use to make this project. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can make this frame, where to find the paper, where to find the boots, how to make the boots look like Santa boots. Okay. First, the frame. The paper, you can click on the right hand side of this video and you will see the papers from North Pole's uh, collections and you can see all of the papers that are in there. I chose the uh, candy stripes because um, I thought that was pretty Christmassy. And then I took um, a eight by eight white piece of paper, cut it two times, glued it together and then glued it to the back of the frame to make this frame on the right hand side of this video you will see the link to susan tierney cockburn's how to make a uh, frame it's very very easy i did this by hand i'm really really excited about that okay so then i went ahead and made my background for my frame and I recently purchased the Hero Arts Snowflake Swirl Bold Print. I thought it was really, really cool. I first tried to emboss it, didn't work. No, 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 no. Okay, so what I did was I took Night of Navy by Stampin' Up! Um, ink, and you can use any kind of navy blue ink, and I inked up my a stamp pad which is a six by six and I went ahead and attached it to my Stamparatus which if you have, have Misty then that can work too and I stamped it um, and it made that beautiful uh, background that snowy background then I took some Barely Arts glue and uh, just glued the back of it and then put it in the middle of the frame beautiful i love 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 the way this looks okay and as you can see it looks great with my santa wellies okay now i'm going to share with you how i made these adorable santa wellies if you love them make sure you like this video and if you haven't subscribed again subscribe the complete list of materials will be listed in the description. You will need two different types of cardstock, red and black. I used 105 pounds. I find thicker the better uh, for stability. The dies, again, are from Spellbinders. They are called the Oriental Lily and Wellies uh, from Garden Club by Susan Tierney Cockburn. You will also need a black Sharpie, some clear embossing powder, Versamark, and cotton balls. You will be cutting out the wellies two times, once in red and once in black. The black will go behind the red piece. Then you're gonna take a black Sharpie. I used an embossing pen, but you don't really need an embossing pen. If you don't want your wellies to have a very shiny appearance, like rubber and you want the matte, then go ahead and just use the embossing pen with some black embossing powder, which this is Moxie. The wellies that you see in this video, 
Um, the final ones, they do not have the black embossing powder. I decided not to do that. Instead, I used the clear embossing powder all over it. There is some fantastic embossing used with this die. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your black Sharpie or your embossing pen and you're going to outline where the bottom of the rubber of the shoe is just like you see me doing it and once you have that outline then you're going to go ahead and color it in if you're going to use an embossing pen it will stay wet and then you can put your black embossing powder and use a heat gun to activate the embossing powder if not you can use your black sharpie color it in and then apply versamark all over the boot with a brayer sprinkle some clear embossing powder all over the die cut remove the excess and then heat emboss it with a embossing gun the next step is to adhere the black backing to the red die cut. I use Barely Arts glue and I really didn't get the boots totally uh, centered and in line with each other, but it's okay because the black background, if you make a mistake and it's not flush, it's going to create a shadow effect, which is actually pretty neat. And the last step is to take a cotton ball and cut it in half. You want to make sure that you're cutting the cotton ball. So if you look at the cotton ball, you'll see how it was sewn together. And if you cut it the wrong way, it's not going to work. So your cotton ball strands should be horizontal and not vertical. If you cut them horizontal, okay, then it will make a really cute cuff, right? And what I did was I put my scissors right in the middle and I should have cut it the opposite way, not this way, because this is the vertical way, okay? Which it didn't have a problem with the first one that I had used, but I don't know what happened, okay? And then the ends, you're actually gonna round the ends of your cotton balls um, so it appears that it's not just one big cotton ball all the way across. I don't know how to explain that, but um, I that's what I end up doing. I left some of the cotton ball uh, to hang off of the die cut so I could tuck it under and also left it enough on the top so I could tuck it inside the welly. So you can see how I'm putting the glue on there and then when I apply that cotton ball, you see how I put it straight on? You don't want to put it straight on. You want to take the ends and kind of curl them in, okay? You'll see me kind of making that adjustment. So if you happen to mess up, it's okay. You know, just curl it in, put the glue in, and then put it on top and just press it down. And then um, you'll see me stretch it out and then apply some of the glue on the back side and uh, and then um, in the back side of the top as well. Repeat the same step on the right boot and you have Santa Wellies and they're so cute. And that's the tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And again, make sure you subscribe and comment below. I would love to see your projects. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. And don't forget, if you want to be notified of the latest videos, please click on the bell.